Greetings, brothers and sisters. We bear witness there is no God but one. <clears throat> that sounds good, doesn't it? No God with him. No God besides him. No God equal to him. No God greater than him. No God better than him. No God before him. No God with him. And certainly no God after him. He is God alone. He had no help in the midst of creation. He alone created the heavens and the earth. He have no partners. There are none that's worthy to be praised but one. And that one is God. 
He made the heavens by his power, established the world by his wisdom, and stretched forth the heavens by his understanding. Yes, yes. Scripture says he gave the sea her decree right. and layeth his chambers in the waters. Yes. He ride upon the wings of the wind and walk among the cursus of heaven. Yes. He says he hangs the earth on nothing. Spread the north over a empty place. Whether shall I flee from his presence? If you go to heaven, God is there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you lay your bed in hell, still haven't outran him. God is there. So there's no place you can think of going. We praise the Almighty today. He is not an image in your house. You won't find his face in the stained glass of your window. The little pages you got in your Bible of some artwork, God's face is not in none of them. God is eternal. God is everlasting. God is perpetual. God is not begotten. God have no mother. God don't have a father. He is father. There's nobody, nobody can say that they are a relative of God. <laughs> nobody, I said. God is eternal. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding and being the true sender and teacher of holy prophets and holy apostles. We are grateful for the Lord bringing us to another convention. Good to be here back in Wilmington, Delaware. We are glad for all of you that have made it thus far this evening to all the ministers. We thank God for them that are present and the many ministers that are absent. Most of all, we thank God for pulling us out of darkness. Glad for the day that God placed me on the truth of God train, you know. He's the conductor. In fact, he's the driving force. And... It's picking up passengers all around the world and the devil don't like that. Devil have set up detour signs and but the tracks are straight. Go ready, go. And the way is very narrow. Have to worry about no turns to the left nor to the right. There's only one way. And Jesus said, I am that way. Didn't he say so? He said, I am the way. Then he declared himself to be the truth and the life. He said, I am the door. Meaning in order to connect yourself to the spirit or the inner man, you have to get to him through the opening up of the outer man. You must accept the performance of the son of man. Follow his lead. Follow his pattern. Follow the demonstrations that he left. And those lessons will connect you to the spirit of the living God. God left an example. How? Through a man. He left an example of his will, his purpose, his law, his precepts through the man, Christ Jesus, whom God hath ordained. I'm so glad today for knowledge. And a good understanding of God's way. To all of my viewers, this is the greatest religious program that's back again to haunt you. 
Glory to God. We're back again this morning before you go to church. And we're back again tonight after you came in from playing church. And we're back this afternoon while you're on your church break. You know, we're on all time of days, you know. Our objective, our purpose is one. That is to call your attention to God's word and nothing else. Why men are busy calling your attention to everything else but God. Our mission is to call your attention to what God said. Never mind what Geno Jennings said. Just kick your eyes off me. It's not Geno Jennings Ministries. It's the work of God. I'm just a puppet. That's all I am. Amen. And you don't have to worry about my nose getting longer because I don't have a lie in what I'm preaching. You know, if, <laughs> if God cuts men and made their nose grow long like that Pinocchio story, for lying on the scriptures. My God, they knows would go from country to country. So much ventilation would be there. Glory to God, God only have one standard. View us God way. His holiness. That's the name of the faith. The word of God says, one Lord told us that that one Lord is holy. It says one faith and it tells us we are built up on our most holy faith. And then we got one baptism. Just one. One standard. One church. One purpose. One people. One, one, one. One way to God. Jesus have a way, one way to God. Now, in order to come this way, you got to come right through here. Now, because you came in the doors of your church today, that don't mean you came to Jesus. Anybody go to church? In fact, if you go to church, some insects spend the night there. Spend the night and they was very productive and made some more insects for you. <laughs> Going to church don't save you. Get me. Get me. I want to soak your viewers and you that are here. Going to church don't save you. After you go to church, there are some rules, regulations, bylaws that God itemize in scripture. For the world to follow. Yes. Now brothers and sisters. As you can bear witness. We're living in the last days. Are we not? The whole world. Is in chaos. Evil men and seducers. Shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving. And they're being deceived. God word. Is being fulfilled like never before. That's, right. That's why the devil have worked relentlessly trying to discredit the scriptures. Try to say the scriptures are wrong. I've heard men that claim they're baptized and have the Holy Ghost and said God's word is wrong. But then they say they are right. This is how wicked. And of the devil men have become. Oh, yeah. They rather say they're right and God is wrong. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. They rather say that they are right. And God is wrong. It's the other way around viewers. We serve a God that's right all the time. He's right about everything. He have no flaws. He have no errors. He don't make mistakes. He don't make blunders. He don't have to second guess. 
He's perfect in all things. Absolute, infallible, infallible. God defines what perfection is. Are you listening? Glory to God. This is why, moreover, we are laboring around the world to arouse the conscience of the nation. Amen. In America, they hear. Yeah, not they try to act like they don't hear, but you hear. The devils, they hear, and that's why they don't like it. I think of the one woman that wrote an article up on us. She hate me very, very strongly. I don't know her, but she's supposed to be some type of writer, some journalist. She said, I'm the second most dangerous man in the world. That was beautiful, wasn't it? I want to encourage this woman, please, promote me. I want to be the first most dangerous man in the world. Amen. Make me public enemy number one. <laughs> Why? Because this gospel makes the devils mad all over. Why? They can't change it. Oh, they want me to change. They want me to change bad. Some say, lighten up, Pastor Jennings. That'll never happen. Take it easy. Back up. Don't be so hard. No! Or it take God. The world is going to hell, and I'm a fight creation to Jesus come. Oh, yes, we are. Here it is, the world is going to hell by the thousands and preachers and religions are folding up and giving up and surrendering to the powers of Satan. They have given up. You find rainbow flags now flying all over the churches. Amen. We had a letter sent to the Supreme Court of America, to each individual judge. God willing, tomorrow on our next telecast, we'll have it read to you. I want to share to you what we have to say to the highest law-making body in this country. Yeah. Someone say, why don't you leave them alone and just preach the gospel? I can't. They bothered my God. That's right. And when you buy the God, you bother me. I had some people write me and say, you know, you just keep preaching against same-sex marriages. That's right. I'm going to keep doing it until I crush the devil head with it. The Supreme Court of America is a judicial body of heathens, antichrist, infidels. America is a liar to say, in God we trust. The whole country is a lie. You don't trust God. You know, when you say you trust God, that's an admittance that God is a better thinker than you. God's judgment is better than yours. Yeah. God's wisdom is better than yours. Yeah. God knows what's best. Yeah. We plan. God plans. Right. But God is the best of planters. Right. What is God's plan? God plan. he made the woman for the man. Right. That was God's plan, wasn't it? That's, right. That's God's plan. Why? In order for the world to be populated, God knew what it would take for the population of humanity. Yeah. Glory to God, but the devil had another plan in mind. Get two men and get them married. And knowing they can't have children, I'm told that scientists in China is experimenting on men who would volunteer. My Lord to test to see can they carry a child. You see how wicked they are? Yes. And 
Here you have people turning and turning to the truth of God on internet, on television, on radio, and even my enemies listen constantly. And they say, oh, that man is too strict. He's too mean. He don't have love. That's all right. You can call me whatever you want. But I guarantee you'll be back next week. You'll be back. Or they got to hear the same thing. America, the truth of God is a message that's designed by God to warn you. I am a warner. I am not an entertainer. I am a warner. Whenever you read the scriptures, <clears throat> all of the messengers of God were warners. Even the Lord told the prophet, bring them warning from me. Now, whenever God had any man to warn, then the warning was to that nation or city or town or country, dictator, king, queen, president, governor, mayor. You see, you politicians in America think you're too big to bow to God. Thank you too rich. Thank you too wealthy. So they go to church on Sunday and think they've done God a favor. You go to church and eat a cracker <laughs> and drink a shot of wine. Yeah. Oh, you feel so nice and warm. Nice. You thought you'd done something great. That's right. But God had laid law in Scripture, laying law in Scripture. The purpose was for all governments and nations and countries and kingdoms to follow God's law. Not to put the law of America first right. and then put the law of God last. Are you listening to me? The law of God supposed to be first. And to all churches, synagogues, and mosques, God's law supposed to be respected first before man's law. Man's law contradict God's law at all. We turn our back on man's law. And we turn our face towards God's law. Now that'll get you in trouble with God. Society now, they're going to make it, I'm pretty sure, illegal. To speak against same-sex marriages. It's coming. They're going to make it illegal to speak against same-sex marriages. Every judge, I want you to get me, get me, get me good. I don't care if you white as snow. Black is the street. Yellow is butter. Brown is cinnamon. Any judge that married two men. Well, in fact, let, let me retract the statement. Any judge that, perf that perform a make-believe wedding. But that's all it is. That's all. That's right. To all of my ushers, if there's no seats out there, there's a whole balcony up there. Send them on up there. That way they ain't got to stand and look around. Send them up to the balcony so they can gather up what I'm saying. That's it. The governments of the world need God. The pulpits fell asleep. In the book of Kings, there were a prophet named Elijah. There was another messenger named Obadiah. Now, Jezebel, she was knocking the prophets off. I mean, knocking them off. Until Obadiah hid the messengers of God in caves. Didn't he do so? 
And the messenger said, I, even I only, am left. He thought he was the only one left. And uh, they seek my life. I want you to listen at this because I want to deal with not bowing. Standing up for God and not bowing. Amen. You know, when you bow to something, you submit to it. Amen. You give in, you give over, you agree. Right. Now, I'm, I'm standing up for God. Yes, you are. And I'm telling you right now, nobody from nowhere is going to make me bow and turn against my teacher. That's right. The apostle stood up for God. Yes, he did. Lord, take God, Jesus came back and rose and said, Ye are my witnesses. Come on. Of what? These things. The apostles walked with him. Yes. Talked with him. Yes. Ate with him. Yes. Handled him. Yes. They watched the manifestation of God in flesh. Yes. There was eyewitnesses of him. We behold him. Yeah. That's right. The master teacher. Yeah. What Jesus taught the apostles was flawless. That's right. Had no flaws. That's right. He didn't teach them it was more than one God. No. We're not going to take us more than one God. No. Hmm? no way. They didn't bow to Satan. No. We're not going to bow to Satan. That's right. That's right. They was willing to get thrown in jail for standing for the word. We are willing to get thrown in jail for standing for the word. They died for the gospel of Jesus Christ. If need be, we'll die for that same gospel. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead, go ahead. Notice the book of Kings. I want to take my time mm -hmm. and soak you a little. Now in the book of 1 Kings chapter 18. And we're at verse 1. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year. You hear that? Right then that lets you know that the prophet did not speak on his own. No. He didn't speak on his own. He didn't go to seminary school. No. Study a bunch of courses. I had one fella tell me, well, if you, if you just study Hebrew a little bit, it'll help you better understand the Bible. I told him Paul was born in Hebrew. And when the Lord talked to Paul and said, why persecutors died to me, you know what the Hebrew said? Well, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> the Hebrew. He was a Hebrew from birth. That's right. Came out the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. And still didn't know who was that voice talking to him. That's right. So studying Hebrew ain't gonna give it to you. No. It takes God to reveal Himself to you. That's right. Paul said, "I was a Hebrew of the Hebrews." Didn't he say so? Amen. What did he say? And it came to pass after many days that what that the word of the Lord came to Elijah and in the third year. Saying, go show thyself unto Ahab. Go show yourself to Ahab. And I will send rain upon the earth. You know, Ahab was an old wicked fella. Wicked. And he had a wicked wife. Oh, yeah. And Jezebel was she. Oh, yes. You know, Jezebel was so lustful until she concocted a plan to have a righteous man murdered. Mm -hmm. By the name of Naboth. Over a vineyard. Yeah. Because her lustful husband wanted. That's right. She come along and put a letter and put the king's seal upon it and then put out a letter that uh, Naboth blasphemed and then the people rose up and murdered the man and then they got the man inheritance. That's right. Glory take God, but she still reap what she sowed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What did he say? And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab. Then what? And there was a sore famine in Samaria. Mm -hmm. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Yes. Now, Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. Do you hear this? That's it. Obadiah feared 
the Lord <coughs> greatly. You know, when you fear God, that's something that is in you. Yeah. That give you such respect and honor towards God. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and to depart from me was understanding. That's right. That's what makes you keep standing for God because you fear him. Fear him. That's right. What makes you give up and surrender and turn on God because you don't fear him like you should. That's right. You fear another power, yes. another source, yes. and you made that a rival towards God. That's right. Mm -hmm. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord. Wait a minute. Mm. What did Jezebel do? Jezebel cut off the prophets of the I Lord. I told you she was knocking them off. That's right. Jezebel was on a mission. That's right. To interfere mm -hmm. with the work of God. Amen. And she interfered with the work of God through greed and lust. Amen. Mm -hmm. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord What happened? That Obadiah took an hundred prophets Obadiah made an investment <laughs> He didn't want all the goods cut off That's right <laughs> Glory to God So she took, he took a hundred An hundred prophets Prophets And hid them by fifty in a cave Hid them, why? You know that's something when you gotta hide them from a woman Hey man, you start to become a caveman because a woman is on the rampage. You're no longer living in the valley. That's right. Your comfort is gone. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. But this also shows you how Obadiah cared and loved the brethren. Amen. And he was willing to do whatever it took to save their life. That's right. Huh? That's right. Come on. And Obadiah took a hundred prophets. And hid them by fifty in a cave. Yes. And fed them with bread and water. Fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go into the land, unto all fountains of water, and to all brooks. Peradventure we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive. All right. That we lose not all the beasts. Uh -huh. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him. Glory to God. Hmm. Elijah met the him. The man of God. God called, mm -hmm. God sent, uh -huh. God made, yes, God appointed, yes. and God ordained. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. God put his word in the mouth of the prophet. That's right. You see, back in that time, the kings knew that the prophets had the word of the Lord, and it was very necessary to find out what did God say in them. That's right. That's right. America should learn a lesson from that. Yeah. Let's find out what God say about these things before we make a decision. That's right. Congress should want to know what do God say about these things. That's right. Before you make a decision. Mm -hmm. The president should want to know what do God say about these things mm -hmm. before you make a decision. Yeah. How how do I find out what God said? I got to run to the scripture. That's it. Jesus said, search the scriptures. Search them. For in them you think you have eternal life. That's For right. they are they which testify of me. Search them. Search them. You'll find out whether these things are so. That's right. Huh? And as Obadiah was in the way. As Obadiah was in the way. Behold, Elijah met him. Man of God met him. And he knew him. Mm -hmm. And fell on his face and said, Art thou that my Lord, Elijah? Yes. And he answered, I, I am. I am. Go tell my Lord, behold, Elijah is here. Yes. And he said, What have I sinned? That thou wouldest deliver thy servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me. Now, you always have somebody wants to kill the man of God. That's right. Are you listening to me? Somebody always, always wants to kill yeah. a man of God. That's right. always. always. The reason why the world have always wanted a real man of God dead because that man posed a threat to the devil. Yeah. A real man of God posed a threat to the religions of the world. That's right. He's a threat to them. That's right. 
He is a threat to any form of teaching that's opposite from the teaching of God. That's right. He's a threat to them. Yeah. And they know it. And they know it. So they do whatever they can to silence him. Yeah. They'll oh, put a contract out on him. Oh, yeah. They'll try to scandalize him. Mm -hmm. They'll try to degrade him. Mm -hmm. They'll try to turn his children against him. That's right. They'll try to turn his wife against him. They'll try to turn his own brothers against him. Glory to God, the message of God that God put in his servant is a threat to hell. That's right. Is a threat to all the powers and authorities of earth. Amen. And if you look at the apostles and the prophets, they suffered for what they preached. That's right. But God was with them. Yes, oh, yeah. Didn't he? Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Daniel had accusers. Yes. They lied on Brother Daniel. Daniel got thrown down in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. King, come back to check. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Daniel was still there. Still there. Yeah. Daniel, are you there? Yes. yes. Yeah. My God has delivered me. Yes. Has stopped the mouth of the lion. That's right. Yes. In the book of Joshua, they took Abraham. Took Abraham. Tied him up. Yeah. Threw him in the fire. Yes. They come back. Checking around. Yeah. They saw Abraham. Yeah. The cords was burnt off. Yeah. He was walking in the fire. Yeah. Three days yeah. and three nights. Yeah. With no hurt. Yeah. Every time God has sent a messenger, <laughs> the servants of Satan always wanted them dead. Yeah. That's right. Because his mission is to contradict the devil. That's right. That's my mission. Yes. My mission is to contradict the devil and to turn as many as we can in my lifetime to Christ. That's right. Glory to God, and they're turning too, brother. Oh, yes. Amen. I got about four or five or six different letters from different parts of Australia listening at the program, loving it. Asking us to please come there. I met some new members last night from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Thank God for Minister Abraham. Yes. Amen. Raise your hand, Abraham. Yes. Amen. Working beautifully and faithfully throughout Florida. I don't care. He's in the northern part of Florida. Thank God, but when someone right in wants to be baptized, wants to hear the word of God, it doesn't matter if they're way in the south part of Miami. Yes. Once we give the information to Abraham, Abraham is gone. gone. Going down there to feed them the word of God. Amen. Jesus said, my sheep. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, yeah, my voice. That's right. Thanks be unto God and a stranger. They will not follow. That's one thing about God's sheep. They're going to hear God's voice and they're coming wherever God is. That's right. Huh? That's right. Come on, son. As the Lord thy God liveth. As the Lord thy God liveth. There is no nation or there kingdom. There is no nation nor kingdom. Whether my Lord hath not sent to seek thee. That what? And when they said he is not here, he took an oath of the kingdom and nation that they found thee not. All right. And it came to pass. When, he, when Ahab saw Elijah, then Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? Mm. That's it. Yes, Didn't I tell you? Amen. Art thou, are you the troublemaker? That troubleth Israel. They trouble Israel, you trouble a whole nation. That's right. We want the trouble of the whole nation of America. That's right. And it doesn't matter what price we got to pay. We're not bowing to this country. Wonderful. As a result of this stand, mm -hmm. stations have canceled our program. Oh, yeah. Because people wrote in, don't like it. Mm -hmm. I'm too outspoken. Don't like what he said. Yeah. They write the station and said, that man, he don't have Christian love. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because they want me to give in to them. That's right. Glory to God, if I got to live in a cave <laughs> and down to one pair of pants and one shirt. Amen. And only can eat bread and water and nothing on my feet. If that's my last end, Wonderful. let my last end, the prophet says, like be like his. Be like his. Right, Amen. Read quick, son. And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah that Ahab said unto him, Now the prophets of Baal come along and built an altar. That's right. And building an altar, they wanted to get an answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they called on the devil. That's right. From morning to noon. Till noon. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal. Listen. Now in 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 25. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal. Choose you one bullock You'll for yourself. You'll get one bullock for yourself. And dress it first. Get it all dressed up and prepared it. For ye are many. And call on wait the Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Amen. You always had more devil prophets oh, than yeah. God prophets. Oh, yeah. The number of preachers for the devil outnumber the preachers that stand for God. Amen. That's right. Amen. Even Jesus said, many false prophets. Many, false prophets. many of the so-called Jesus only have turned. Oh, yeah. And even some of them that hear the truth turned. Yeah. They turned on Jesus. That's right. People now, they rather bargain. Oh, yeah. No more believers one God. Amen. No more believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now the preachers are saying that teaching of holiness puts the people in bondage. It don't take all that. Because the women want to raise their dresses up. And you know the preachers ain't going to stop them. Oh, no. They want now to be bareheaded. Preacher ain't going to stop you. No, no. Preacher let you the head of somebody who wrote me and told me. They go to a church that's called the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. And they say we're allowed to do whatever we want. That's right. We don't have no rules. My Lord. They said, Pastor Jenny, we don't have no rules. Our preacher teach us. It don't take all that. Just come to church and pay tithes and offering and then go home. Mm. Why? They have bowed. Wow. That's right. They came at the prophet. Mm -hmm. And when they start killing them off, mm -hmm. prophet said, I. Then said Elijah unto the people. Listen. I, even I, I only. I, even I only. Remain a prophet remain of the Lord. Remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Many of them. Many of them. Are you one of Baal prophets today? <laughs> are there any Baal prophets in the house? In the house. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are there any bell prophets watching today? Go ahead. Let us see. Let's see. If you believe in more than one God, what are you? What are you? If you believe that a man can marry a man, what are you? Amen. We're doing an investigation. Yeah. If you believe in three gods, what are you? If you believe in nothing wrong to live together, not married, what are you? Hallelujah. Amen. You believe you can divorce, what are you? 
You see, a prophet means messenger. And if you are a prophet of Baal, Baal. that means Satan gave you a lie to represent him. That's right. So if you are a prophet, a messenger, but yet you are a liar, you are a servant of Satan. That's right. That's right. Satan have used symbolism and brought it in church. Oh, yeah. Where's Huey? Where's Brother Rick? Get those articles. I want to demonstrate bell prophets. Mm -hmm. Bring them in here. I want us to see, and I want, that's one thing I love about television, I can demonstrate anything. Put all that stuff down and get it together and get some brothers to get them for you. Come on, let's move quick, because I, I, I want to open the eyes of the people. Come on up here. Some of you brothers, come up here. Some of you, I need some tall brothers. I want to show you what bell prophets are bowing to. How many we have there? Got two of them? All right, give me four brothers. Tall brothers, come on up on the stage, come on. One hold one side, one hold the other. My Lord. One hold one side, one hold the other. My Lord. My Lord. I want you to look at this. Look, look at that. Look at that. Turn around so the brothers can see them. My Lord, my Lord. All right, turn back around. I want the cameras to look at this. I wish I had a ruler. <laughs> now, this what Baal Bale's, prophets, Bale's prophets have in this church. Yeah. You know, in Charleston, South Carolina, a racist murdered some black brothers and sisters. Only because they was black. Yeah. He didn't attack them for their religion. Yeah. And I hear the different media saying that we need to talk about race. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you do need to talk. But why I don't hear nobody saying who should be talking? Right. If you really want to talk, get a bigot who believes in bell prophet. That's right. I want to say, well, what that got to do with it, Pastor Jennings? Satan have used symbolism. Right. Have used imagery and symbolism yeah. to trick the ignorant yeah. and to promote wickedness. Yeah. Now, when I preach against racism, some white brothers write me and said, you know, you kind of sound, I kind of hear some racism in your voice. You know how, now listen, don't, don't try to flip the script. <laughs> when I preach against racism, you don't hear racism in my voice, you hear truth in my voice. That's right. Now, this have no place. No place. In God house. Amen. <laughs> This is not Jesus. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? He ain't Jesus. No. And he sure ain't Jesus. That's right. That's not Jesus. Amen. Now, the Europeans took this. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to hit hard. Oh, yeah. Bell prophets, Bell prophets took this mm -hmm. and made it look like them. Yeah. Then you scripture. Mm. Servants obey 
your masters. masters. That's right. And taking that scripture, they manipulated and made themselves that master that the Bible was talking about. That's right. So if you want to talk about terrorism, Racism is terrorism. Amen. If you got me looking up to white people Go ahead. to think they are superior and look down at myself as a black man to teach me that I'm inferior, that is terrorism. terrorism. Yeah. So what Satan, what Satan preachers done? They made it. See, it don't matter what color God is because we don't know. That's right. We don't know what color God is. That's right. And we don't care. Don't care. But if I got a different agenda yeah. and I see that you are religious, yeah. I got to manipulate religion to see what I can get out of you. So Satan messengers made Jesus white. Yeah. And some made them black. Yeah. Some made them yellow. Yeah. Some made them brown. Yeah. But the majority made them white. That's right. And what they did with the so-called white Jesus was use imagery yeah. so people of color can look at the preacher, mm -hmm. then look at the image, right. and notice that the preacher in the image resemble. That's right. And then make them believe that bowing to Jesus is bowing to the preacher. That's right. That's why you people still bow to the Pope. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. We bow to no man. No man. Now, many of you have this. In your church, yeah, and in your house, yeah. Some of you go and kiss the picture, yeah. Some of you say that the eyes of statues and pictures cry blood, yes. Some of you are bowing, yeah, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, yeah, in the name of whose son is this? Whose son is that? I mean, whose son is this son? That's right. This is Baal's son. Baal's son. This is the devil's son. This is the son of a liar. That's right. That's right. That's right. You would say, oh, he called Jesus a liar. That's not Jesus. That's not Jesus. So get up off your knee. Get up. Stop making a cross. That's right. Get up off your knees. That's right. That's idolatry. Idolatry. Hallelujah. And idolatry. Come to me. Hallelujah. shall have no other gods no other gods before me no other brother brother Dre give me some more juice brother give me some more juice give me plenty of juice or thank God I want plenty of juice here amen this have contaminated religion yes. see a lot of us don't know the impact that imagery has oh yeah amen they have put it in your Bibles. Yes. You got it on your stained windows. Yes. Yeah. You got it on the walls of your house. Yeah. Go God says, look unto 
me all the ends of the earth and be ye saved. God didn't say look at a poster. Oh no. You see, this Satanism That's right. gotta come out the churches. That's right. That's why your churches are so weak. You're idolatrous. You bow to your preacher. Amen. We bow to God. Amen. You know the Pope's supposed to be coming to Philadelphia. You gonna find people bowing to him. Oh yes. Oh no. If Pope was an apostle like Peter, Amen. Peter said, "Stand up. Stand up. I'm a man like you. That's right. Stand up. Yes. That's right." Stand up, I said. The power of imagery. It brands something in a person's mind. So what have happened is this brand have made bigots in the past feel justified in slavery. That's right. And one of the methods used to take the fight out the slave is to hold this brand in front of them. That's right. And because the slave didn't know the scripture, the learned European yeah. misinterpret scripture and said obey your master yes. obey master that's right that's right that's right listen viewers okay. this are symbols of terrorism that's right that's right now I know many of you don't like it and I don't care don't care Made an express yes. image. Are symbols of terrorism. The scripture that the European used when Ham saw the nakedness of his father. And the book says, A servant of servants you shall be. The European satanic liar right. said that scripture means that all people of color yeah. should serve yeah, white. That's That's right. It. That's it. That's it. And said Jesus, yeah. now take this picture, yeah. meant it to be. Right. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's terrorism. That's terrorism. That's terrorism. That's terrorism. So what happened? Now, now let's understand the religion so-called of Christianity hmm. promotes this. Yeah. Did you hear? Oh, yeah. I said Christianity promotes this. Yeah. Holiness destroys it. Destroys it. I don't know. I don't want none of my white brothers and white sisters writing me. Pastor Jennings, you you, you sound like you hate white folk. No. I hate wickedness. Yeah. I don't care who. Listen, white supremacy is no better than black supremacy. Amen. I don't believe in no supreme race. I believe in only one supreme God. That's right. This, this will be just as evil if the paintings were black. Right. Still just evil. So all you churches, all of you, all of you, get me, get me, get me now. Take this and that. <laughs> See this here, this crucifix. This right here is a lie. That's a lie. You know why? He ain't on no cross. No cross. He died and rose. And ascended Ascended. above all heavens. He ain't on no cross. So whenever you got a crucifix in your house, round your neck, 
in your church with the image on it. You have a lie. He is not on no cross. That's right. And then some of you say, this is God. Right. Liar. That's a lie. God is not a man. God is not a man. That he should lie. That's right. Need to see the son of man. That he should repent. That he should repent. Who told you that God, God. have hazel brown eyes? Mm. I want to say to you that flock to Rome to look at some material bought out of a pawn shop Amen. called the Shrine of Torah. Yeah. You've been bamboozled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, the people want a sign. Yeah. They want to believe something other than what's written. Yeah. Right. Is not the word of God good enough for you? Yeah. You don't need relics. No. Dead man hands and pieces of somebody robe. No. 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 no, no. So all of you that are watching, and you that are here, if you got this in your home, and I know some of you do, when you go home, take that phony off your wall. Amen. This is a phony. I'm trying to get it, you know. I have I having problems placing my fingers. <laughs> now I know some of you will write me and say, Pastor Dennis, you make a mockery. You're right. Right. Give me the book of Kings. Jeez. That's right. Elijah mocked them. That's right. And Elijah said unto them. Follow me. Follow me in your Bible. Let's get right to the point. First Kings chapter 18 and at verse 26. And they took the bullock which was given them and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal. And what? From morning even until noon saying, O Baal, hear us. O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice nor any that answered and they leaped upon the altar which was made. Then what? And it came to pass that Elijah mocked them. Elijah was my brother. Yeah. We got the same spirit. That's right. And the same father. That's right. And I got to do like my brother does. Elijah mocked them. And what? Elijah mocked them. And what did he say? And said, cry aloud. Cry aloud. For he is a God. You say that the fellow on this painting is God? Cry aloud. You down there praying? Cry loud. Cry loud. Call on him. Cry, cry loud. You better not tell me it's Jesus. That's right. When did Jesus pose for this? When did he pose for? That's right. Now, look at him. Look at him. And look at him. Amen. They don't look the same. No. Who are these men? Who are those men? Who are these imposters? Amen. Amen. What did he say? And it came to pass that Elijah mocked, mocked him and said, Cry aloud. Cry aloud. For he is a God. He is a God. Either he is talking. Either he's talking. Or he is pursuing. He's pursuing. Or he is in a journey. Maybe he's chasing something. Or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awake. Let's see what do these idols do. Can these idols talk or smell or hear? Mm -hmm. Let's get some scriptures. scriptures because man. this is idolatry. Psalms 115. And the messengers of Satan got people bowing to idolatry. That's right. People by the millions in their house, churches, and play, they are bowing yes. to these images. Yes. That's right. And when you bow, we bow to the unseen. Oh, yes. Our God is in the heaven. Wait a minute. Listen, Psalms 115 will start at verse 3. But our God is in the heaven. If your hands get tired, get a brother to relieve you. Yeah. Our God is on a poster. Our God is in the heavens. <laughs> it's supposed to be God being held up. Imagine <laughs> brothers holding God up. Holding God up. A God that can't stand on his own. My Lord. 
Do you know how sad that is? Yeah. But you know how serious it is? Oh, yeah. This is the works of Satan that's used to trick the simple. That's right. And many are sincere. Statues all over churches. People coming in the church and they see a statue before they go to their seat. They touch it. They touch it. Or they kiss it. That's right. Or they go put their kiss or they get in front of it. That's right. That's right. Stat, they don't see you. Their idols are silver and gold. Their idols are silver and gold. The work of men's hands. The work of men's hands. They have mouths. They have mouths. But they speak not. Wait a minute. Let, let's test this. Let's test it. Test it. They have mouths. But they speak not. What's up? Amen. What did the word of God say? They have mouths, but they speak not. Can you say anything? Huh. What's your name? <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> That's right. Amen. Are you the son of God? Are you he that should come? My Lord. Or should we look for another? My Lord. They have mouths. But they speak not. Was it you that turned water into wine? Mm. Was it you that walked on water? My Lord. They have mouths, but they speak not. What's the matter? Satan got your tongue? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, he mockery religion. I'm making mockery of a lie. That's right. You got to destroy the lie that's in people. That's right. In order for you to be free, the lies that's in your mind must be crushed. Amen. Amen. The lie got to come out your mind. Gotta come out your mind. You need brain surgery. Yeah. Heart surgery. Yeah. 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 Do you hear the word of God talking? They have mouths. They got mouths. But they speak not. What else? Eyes have they. Oh, he got big ones. Amen. And what? But they see not. Amen. You know how the devil trick people? They got big pictures like this. And they say, oh, it's like his eyes is moving. moving. Look, it's like his eyes is moving. <laughs> That's right. They got eyes and what? They have eyes, but they see not. Amen. How many here used to be Catholics? Raise your hand. How many of you would bow to statues? Lord. How many of you would do the crucifix? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. That's right. Holiness is liberation preaching. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't hate the Catholics. I hate liars. That's it. That's it. I hate the lie. lies. That's it. They, Do you know how many people carry crucifix in their pocketbook, round their neck, mm -hmm. feeling it? Yeah. Believe that it will protect them. Oh, yeah. It's good luck. Yeah. The Spirit of God is in it, yeah. moving beads around. My Lord. They get more comfort out of bees than they do from God. That's right. And some of y'all preachers that are watching, you got this in your church. Yes. On your wall. On your wall. Yes. Choir singing, and this is in back of them. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Listen. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Now let's get the book of Exodus mm -hmm. and see what God commands us Amen. not to do. That's right. Everybody all right? Yeah. That's right. The messengers of Satan yeah. that causes people to bow oh, yeah. 
through the manipulation of religion. Mm -hmm. Religion plays a major role in the destruction of the human family. That's right. They are destroyed through religion. Yes. Man-made religion. Yes. And they say, oh, some man wrote the Bible. Let me give you some knowledge and intelligence. <laughs> it ain't a man ever wrote a book that's against him. That's right. That's right. It's not even in a man to write something that's against him. No way. Whenever man writes something, brother, he gonna make sure he got freedom to do whatever he wants to do. That's right. Give chapter and verse and read quick. Exodus, I want to certify as I go. You Exodus know. chapter 20 and we're at verse 3. What is it? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. God talking. God spake all these words. God spake all these words. Saying, Thou shalt have no other gods Thou before me. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Wait a minute. Someone said, Pastor Jenny, but this is engraven. It's painted. Mm. It's an image. Mm -hmm. I just want to know who is it. That's it. Viewers, you write me. Write me now, because I know some of you are so sentimental. Amen. And some of you were right television stations. I'm, I'm appalled <laughs> at what that man just did to my, Jesus. to my Jesus. If this is your Jesus, you can have him. <laughs> That's right. If this is your Jesus, you can have him. That's right. Because he can't defend himself. Can't defend himself. Why is he just sitting here? Yeah. Will he answer my prayer? Who is that man? Who is that man? Can he fight for you? No. These paintings that you have. Can they fight for you? They can save no man. Do you hear? Now in the book of the epistle of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 36. Give, no, give chapter and verse again. In the book of the epistle of Jeremiah. In the epistle of Jeremiah. Chapter 1 and verse 36. Says what? They can save no man from death. No man. What? No man. They can save no man. From death. What else? Neither deliver the weak from the mighty. What else? They cannot restore a blind man. Wait a minute. I, I, well, you better make sure. I want them to see what is it talking about. Amen. They cannot restore. Now let's go above that and get who it's talking about. At verse 35. Come on, son. Move quick. In like manner also, they can neither give riches nor money. You better get at verse 30. At verse 30. For how can they be called gods? How can they be called gods? How can y'all call this painting God? God's. Anytime you bowing down to this stuff, that you bowing supposed to be to God. Right. Why are y'all on your knees with this? Some of y'all in y'all churches, when you pray, the whole congregation is asked to face the cross and the image. Right. Sometimes I've been to churches where they collect offering. And when they collect offering, they have what is called an offering song. And I've seen where they took the offering plate and face the cross with the image yeah. and now saying it oh jesus we give this to you oh thank you we give this to you oh jesus blah, 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 blah. Amen. now according to you viewers it's supposed to be the second person in the godhead, in the godhead. who told you he looked like this that's right where did you meet him? When did you see him? What mall did you see him at? What mall? Where do he shop? Yeah. Not only that, you blind so-called apostolic preachers says that flesh and blood is in heaven. Yeah. You said flesh and blood is, in, is heaven. In, heaven. in heaven. And Paul said flesh and blood cannot, cannot, in, cannot in heaven inherit the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Cannot. And not. Amen. 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 I had somebody to write me and say, Pastor Dennis, I'm being taught when you pray, you're supposed to pray to flesh and blood. Mm. We're supposed to follow Jesus' example. That's right. And the disciples say, Lord, teach us. Teach us to pray. To pray. To pray. How to do it. Mm -hmm. So here comes Jesus teaching you what nature to talk to. That's right. Our, Our Father. Father. Our, Our Father. Our Father. Talking right to the spirit. That's right. Our Father. Our Father. Our God. Yes. Our Creator. Yes. Where is he? Where is he? Who are? In heaven. In heaven. In heaven. In heaven. In heaven. We don't pray the flesh. 
No, no. It ain't no apostle in the Bible ever prayed to flesh. No, no. Not even Jesus prayed to his own flesh. That's right. He said, Our Father. Our Father. Glory to God. That's right. Glory. Hallelujah. That's right. Our Father. Our Father. You want to know who will answer? The Father. Father. My father Jesus said, as my father sent me, mm -hmm. as my father has sent me, yes. even so send I you. That's right. Here's the spirit that was in that body sent them out. Mm -hmm. We don't pray to no flesh. No flesh. We pray to spirit. That's it. One brother told me, he said when he pray, he thought that he take his prayers to Jesus, then Jesus take it to the father. No. Jesus said, I am the father. That's right. He just said, when you see me, you see the Father. See the Father. Well, Pastor, who you talk to? I talk direct to God. That's right. These words spake Jesus. Listen. In St. John 17 and verse 1. These words spake Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. Lift up his eyes to earth. To heaven. No, he looked at his own flesh. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. No, he looked at his own body. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. He looked at his own body. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said what? And said, Father. Father. That's right. Amen. Jesus left us an example yeah. that we should follow his steps. Yeah. He said what? And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said what? And said, Father. Son. Father. That's it. Go ahead. No, son. Father. No, son. Father. That's right. That's what he said. Son of God couldn't even reveal this stuff to the apostles. That's right. He said, flesh and blood cannot reveal it. It cannot reveal it. But my father, which is in heaven. That's right. The flesh said, I do nothing. Nothing of myself. Of myself. I can't do nothing. Nothing. But as my father. That's right. As the spirit. As God. That's right. Do all of in me. He do it the works. He do the work. Hallelujah. And it came to pass in those days. He left us an example yeah. how to pray, how to pray, and what nature to pray to, mm -hmm. and what nature answer the prayers. Now in the book of Saint Luke, chapter six and at verse twelve. Luke six and twelve says, "And it came to pass in those days what? that he went out into a mountain to pray, and did what, and continued all night in prayer to God." <laughs> No, in prayer to his flesh. And continued all night in prayer to God. Hallelujah. All night. Wonderful. When I pray, I pray to God. Pray to God. The eternal spirit That's it. that made that man. That's it. You see, God wanted us to know who to pray to. That's right. So he got in that body and then made the body a pattern. That's right. Shows you who to look to. Mm -hmm. He looked up. Yeah. Towards heaven. Looked up into heaven. And the 17th chapter of John. Mm -hmm. And verse 1. It said what? These words spake Jesus. Now. Everything watching. And everything that are here. You better do the same thing. That's right. Because these words spake who? Spake Jesus. The son of man. And lifted up his eyes to and heaven. And lifted up his eyes where? To heaven. No to Mary. To heaven. Go ahead man. Wonderful. No to Mary. To heaven. I know I got some unbelievers, but I don't care. Amen. I'm looking up to heaven. Lifted up his eyes to heaven. I don't bow to flesh. I don't pray to flesh. No. Why? Jesus didn't do it. That's right. That's right. He looked up where? Lifted up his eyes to heaven. See, you can't preach this unless God give it to you. Oh, yeah. You can't even see it. You can't even see it unless God give it to you. That's right. He left us an example. Mm -hmm. He showed his apostles how to pray. What to pray to. That's right. These Did words spake Jesus. These words spake Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said, Father. God. The hour is come. The hour is come. Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may that glorify thy thee. thy son may glorify thee. Thee. And now, O oh Father, now, O oh God, glorify who he's praying to. Praying to. Talking to spirit. That's right. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said he's talking to himself. You're a liar. That's a lie. 
Lesh is called Loa. Spirit is called Hayes. Hayes. That's right. God don't pray. No. God never pray. Never pray. Never pray. God never pray. Never pray. When you pray, you pray too. The flesh is praying too. That's right. It's talking to the spirit. That's right. That's why he's looking up. Up to heaven. That's right. The same spirit that was in him yes, sir. was everywhere. 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 But that flesh, yes, sir. one place at a time. That's right. Hallelujah. One place at a time. Hallelujah. He come along and step in flesh. Yeah. And everywhere the spirit moved, the flesh went with it. Flesh went with it. But when the flesh slept, yeah. spirit stayed awoke. Spirit was awoke. Because God don't sleep. God don't That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Bible says Jesus was hungry. hungry. God never was hungry. No, no. God don't need to eat. God don't need to eat. Don't need to eat. The Bible says Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy Ghost. God is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's right. There's a separation yeah. in the nature yeah. of the human and the divine. And the divine. Men been preaching these lies before I was born. Oh yeah. Long before I was born. They have made this the second person in the Godhead. Mary's son came from heaven. Mm -hmm. No son exists before his mama. Before his mama. <laughs> if you got a mama, your son don't exist before the mama. That's right. That's right. That's why it says great is the mystery. Great of God is great. God was manifested in the flesh. It never said God became flesh. No, no, no. It was manifested in, in the it. flesh. Meaning he worked in it. Preached in it. Taught in it. That's right. Healed in it. Healed in it. Worked in it. That's right. Walked on water in it. In the flesh. Raised the dead in it. That's right. Right in it. The flesh was work clothes. Hallelujah. And the flesh was called man, man. son, Minister. apostle, that's right, prophet, that's right, minister, son of God, that's right, that's right. For there is one God. Listen now in First Timothy chapter two and verse five. There is one God. How many? One God. And what? And one mediator. Oh, you got something now that's between. That's it. And one mediator. Who Bet is that? Between God and men. What is it? The man Christ Jesus. What nature was mediator? The man Christ. No. What nature was mediator? Man. No spirit. Man. No spirit. Man. 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 There you had the man. man. Natural man. That's right. Here you had men praying. Yeah. And when he was here on earth, yeah. he was between mm -hmm. spirit That's right. and the human family. And then, between. between. And in order for you to get to the unseen right. the spirit, right. you had to first come through the man. That's right. How do I come through the man? I got to follow the teaching of the man. That's right. The teaching that was in the man. That's right. Listen, let me give you some understanding. Do you know Jesus' doctrine was not his? Was not his. That's right. Jesus answered them. That's right. Showing you a separation yeah. between human and divine. That's right. Jesus answered them. Do you know, mm -hmm. not only was that doctrine, meaning teaching, not his, mm -hmm. 
he himself was taught. That's right. I'm going to get all of that. All of that. Come on, son. Now in St. John chapter 7, verses 16 and Follow 17. Me. Jesus answered them. Jesus answered. And said, my doctrine. I don't care how many men try to talk about the Godhead. If God don't give it to them, they're going to have flesh and blood in heaven. Yes, they will. They're going to have flesh and blood coming from heaven. Yeah. They're going to be praying to flesh. Yeah. And when you keep working on that weak mind, that weak mind will say, oh, 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 oh. yeah, it do sound right. It do sound right. That's idolatry. Yes, it is. Listen at the book. Jesus answered Give chapter them. chapter verse again. Now in St. John chapter 7, verses 16 and 17. Who did the answer? Jesus answered them. And said what? And said, my doctrine. My doctrine. Is not mine. Is not mine. What do you mean? Everything he taught you didn't come from him. Come right. From him. It ain't nothing come from his flesh. Nothing. 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 It didn't belong to him. No. But whose is it? But his that sent me. What? But his that sent me. Where did he send him from? From a womb. From a womb. That's it. That's it. He sent him from the earth. That's right. But the prophecy came from heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. Now let's get who taught him. Now in St. John chapter 8 and at verse 28. That flesh and blood had a teacher. That's right. And it had a teacher by a power that was greater than itself. Then shall ye know that I am he. Do you hear? Now then shall you know that I am he. And that I do nothing of myself. Oh, right there, that's what got me fighting creation. That's right. <laughs> Son of man couldn't do nothing on his own. That's right. Nothing. 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 If he nothing. Said, listen, if he admit he couldn't do nothing on his own, everybody else might as well shut up. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's it. That's it. Amen. One man told me that the Son of God gave him revelation. I said, that, that's impossible. That's impossible. That contradicts the scriptures. That's right. Because the Son of God even told Peter, flesh and blood had not revealed this to you. And let you know the Son of Man is not a giver of revelation. Mm -hmm. The Spirit that was in him is the giver of revelation. That's right. Listen. And that I do nothing of myself. Listen to me, human family. Mm -hmm. I that do flesh and blood declared I do nothing of myself. But. Uh oh, look who get the credit. But. But as my father hath as taught the me, spirit or as God have did what? Hath taught me. The son of man had a teacher. Amen. Spirit was his teacher. That's right. The Bible say he grew. God he don't grow. God don't grow. God don't grow. That's right. The Bible say he grew in wisdom, wisdom. and in stature mm -hmm. and in favor yeah. with God and with man but as my father hath taught me as my father taught me i speak these things that's right now i have not spoken of myself wait a minute wait a minute now in saint john chapter 12 and verse 49 i want this to be good for all of these infidels that exist before i was born that's right who praise the flesh do you know the catholics pray the flesh yes they do catholics believe that flesh and blood is in heaven and it's the second person in the Godhead. That's right. That's what they believe. That's right. That teaching been around hundreds of years. Oh, yeah. That flesh and blood in is heaven. in heaven. In heaven. And when you bow and pray, you are praying to flesh and blood. Right. That's a lie. That's a lie. Do you hear what it says? St. John 12 and verse 49. What is it? For I have not spoken of myself. I told you, you so-called apostolic identify yourself with the Catholics. Amen. Because you got the same teachings. Flesh and blood is in heaven. Yeah. And I'm praying to flesh and blood. That's listen, right. listen to Pastor Jennings. Here's a man that never prayed to flesh and blood and get an answer. Amen. 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 That's right. Never. Never. Lord, well, we take God, I want to make it so strong Never. until that devil just got to fall out about it. <laughs> That's right. You hear what it says? For I have not spoken of myself. Look at Jesus. Amen. I haven't spoken of myself. But the Father which sent me. But the Spirit that sent me. He gave me a commandment. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. No, I always had it. He gave me a commandment. No, I always had it. The Father which sent me gave me a commandment. For someone to give you something, you had to come into being, then it must be given to you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Spirit gave it to him. He gave me a commandment. He gave me a commandment. What I should say. Amen. Amen. The Spirit plainly taught the body. That's right. What to say. That's right. That's right. Spirit, what you want me to tell the people? 
baptized in my name. That's it. I want you to preach in my name. That's right. That's that right. repentance and remission of sins should be preaching his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. at Jerusalem. And ye are my witnesses of these things of a whole. I send the promise of my father on you, but tarry in Jerusalem until you be in due with power from on high. He gave me a commandment. He gave me a commandment. What I should say yes. and what I should speak. What? what? And what I should speak. That lets you know he wasn't on his own. Amen. Now I want to whatsoever say to, I speak I therefore. I want to say to everybody under the sun, Amen. you ain't got no business out here on your own. Christ is the head of the church, and the church got to follow the rules of the spirit. That's it. And when the spirit don't speak, don't you speak? That's right. If God didn't say there's two gods in heaven, stop lying stop on them. Lying. If God didn't say flesh and blood is in heaven, stop lying on them. Yeah. If God didn't say he was white, mm. stop lying on them. That's right. If God didn't say he was black, stop lying on them. Amen. 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 That's right. that God, when you follow the spirit, you get that thing right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. That's why somebody got to send you. If God don't, if God don't send you, you're gonna tell a lie on him. Yes, you will. Huh? But the father which sent me. Do you hear? Do you hear? Now listen. Listen now. I can say just like Jesus said. Amen. The Father which sent me. That sent me. He gave me a commandment. He gave me a commandment. What I should say. What I should say. And what I should speak. And what I should speak. Whatsoever I speak what therefore. Whatsoever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak therefore. Even as the Father had said unto me. Even as the Father had said unto me. So I speak. Amen. 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 Whatsoever. Hallelujah. To Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. To God. Whatsoever. Whatsoever I speak, therefore. There's a separation in the nature. God is not human. God works through the human. That's it. God don't have a birthday. No, no. God don't have no mother. No, no. Go ahead, Amen. Somebody wrote me from somewhere and said they preacher taught them that God Almighty has a father. Hmm. God has a father, God is father. God is father. Have we not all one father? That's right. Hast thou not known? Listen, do you hear? Do you hear? Now in the book of Isaiah, chapter you 40 see, and verse 28. You people can get these idols and imageries out of your head. Your preacher can preach the truth. Yeah. That's right. That's right. We will never bow. Never. From one God to two. Oh, no. Never. No. I, I can I, I'm exposed to hundreds of religions. I'm not influenced by none of them. That's right. Only one influenced me is God. That's right. You see, that, and that's why when it comes to bowling, you got to be firm, firm. you got to be solid, yeah. and you can't be wishy washy. No, no. So I don't care if you're my friend. Yeah. Go ahead. You contradict that? Yeah. Your friendship should not influence me. That's right. Uh -uh. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. One God. One God. One standard, yeah. one faith. Oh, yeah. We don't pray the flesh. No, no, no. I dare anyone tell me you do. Amen. Mm -mm. Flesh can't help you. Flesh can't help you. No, no. no that no. body that walked this earth, it needed help from the spirit itself. That's right. Why? Why did God do it like that, Pastor Jennings? Because the Son of Man represent the church. That's right. That's why that body depended on the spirit. Yeah. And show the church you got to depend on the spirit. That's right. The flesh profiteth nothing. Wait a minute. Give chapter the verse. Now in St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. Do you hear just as Jesus teaching? The flesh profiteth nothing. What? The flesh profiteth nothing. It is the spirit that quickeneth. What? It is the spirit that quickeneth. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you hear? Hallelujah. The flesh profit is nothing. Profit of nothing. Nothing. Well, why did Jesus teach this way? Because he knew the carnal nature of man. The carnal nature of man is to get caught up in himself yeah. and depend on himself. Right. And God made a body, then taught the body to depend on the spirit that made it. That's right. That's what God did. That's right. That's right. Taught that body, depend on the spirit. Depend on him. Teach the church, depend on God. Yeah. 
When the flesh died, spirit kept living. That's right. After the flesh died, spirit was in hell preaching. Yeah. Are you listening? It is the spirit that quickeneth. It's playing. Amen. It is the spirit. It is God that quickeneth. That revives. The flesh profiteth nothing. Amen. The flesh don't profit. How am I playing is that? Amen. The flesh profiteth nothing. Profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you. Oh, glorious. Amen. The very speech that I have, he said. They are spirit. They are divine. And they are life. And they are life. life. The words that I speak unto you. He's speaking God to you. God, that's right. If he said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. He Amen. said the word was God. That's right. So God is being spoken to you. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. The words that I speak, God is speaking. That's right. Why? He is the word. He is the word. Wonderful. The body is the messenger. Mm -hmm. The spirit. It's the message. That's right. The body was the prophet. Yeah. The spirit was prophecy. Amen. The body was just a robe. Yeah. The spirit was the preacher in the robe. That's right. Hey. That's right. Come on, I'm putting on a robe of flesh That's right. so people can see how the spirit works. Work. When that flesh laid hands. Yeah. You got to keep in mind, flesh profit of nothing. Nothing, nothing. So when the flesh laid hands, mm -hmm. he didn't do it on his own. Right. Mm -mm. No, and why? Why? God wanted to show us. That's right. God wanted to show us what to do. What to do. So being that God was in that flesh, God took the flesh and directed it. Yeah. You see, God is a master. Yeah. The flesh is like a puppet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spirit just directed it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the spirit going to do the work. Do the work. That's what the devil said. I know who thou art. Mm -hmm. I know who you are. I know who you are. You got on flesh. Mm -hmm. You may be covered. Mm -hmm. But I know what's in there. I know what's in there. I know who you are. That's right. That's right. You may be hiding in the body. Yeah. Isaiah said, Verily, thou art a God that hides thyself. But I see you. I, I see know you. who you are. That's right. What did Jesus say? Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Shut your mouth. I ain't come here to have dialogue. That's right. Shut, up Shut up and come out of him. Come out of him. Are you listening? Jesus answered and said unto them. Look at all this Bible. Now in St. John chapter 6 and verse 29. Says what? This is the work of God. This is the work of the Son of Man. This is the work of God. This is the work of flesh. This is the work of God. No, this is the work of flesh. This is the work of God. Amen. This is the Spirit. You got to give Spirit all credit. Oh, that's right. Flesh don't get credit. Oh, no. Why? The church don't get credit. That's right. The church got to give God the credit. That's right. That flesh represents the church. And the church don't have credit. Amen. Spirit get all the credit. That's right. When your prayers is answered, spirit answers. Spirit. When you down there praying and your body's moving, spirit moving on. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Holy God. Amen. Amen. Spirit moving on. Amen. When you speaking in tongue, yes. the Son of God ain't making you speak. No, no. Spirit. 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 Dre, give me some more power, son. Spirit. Come on, turn that thing up. Turn it up. Amen. Don't be afraid. Turn that thing up. Amen. What shall we do? That we might work the works of God. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Now in St. John 6 and verse 20. When I received the Holy Ghost, the Son of God didn't give me the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, man. The Spirit that was in that Son gave me the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's why the Bible says, and they was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak as what? Spirit. As what? Spirit. As what? Spirit. Even a Son of God himself cried to the Spirit. That's right. Elderly, elderly, lay my son Huh? Talking to the spirit. That's right. Early, early, lay my sabbathony. And then the Bible told you who you talk to. My God. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. My God. My God. My God. That's 
said. That's what he said. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Do you see the separation? That's it. Yes, now in St. John's. Even the flesh. Yeah. Flesh never prayed to himself. I will, Not once. I will pray the Father. Let's get instructions from Jesus. St. John chapter 14 and verse 16. John 14, 16 says. And I will pray the Father. Who are you going to pray to? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I, I will pray will the Father. Pray the Father. And he and the Father shall give you another shall comforter. Give you another comforter. Another comforter. Hallelujah. 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 I will pray the Father. Hallelujah. I will pray the Father. When the church pray, Hallelujah. we don't pray the flesh. That's right. Hallelujah. When God was in that body, Hallelujah. the body always would pray to the spirit. That's right. Because the body of Christ represents the church. That's right. That's why you see Jesus bowing. Now, right. letting the church know you got the bow. That's right. That's right. Huh? Hallelujah. Jesus fast. Let the church know right. you got the fast. Hallelujah. Showing you what to do. Hallelujah. I will pray the Father. I will pray. I will pray the Father. I'll make you fall proper and lick up those lies. That's right. That's why you're so confused. Yeah. You're looking to flesh. Yeah. We look at the spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> I will pray the Father. They have ignored. Jesus teaching. That's right. All Jesus teaching was putting you to the spirit. Oh yeah. Always putting you to the spirit. Oh yeah. You folk that pray to flesh, you are polytheistic. That's right. You Amen. are idolatrous. Oh yeah. You are equal to the Catholic Church. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Man. I will pray the Father. Before. Hallelujah. There was a Bishop Mason. The Catholics said that flesh and blood is in heaven. Before there was a G.T. Hayward, the Catholics said flesh and blood was in heaven. Before there was a Lawson, Catholics said flesh and blood was in heaven. My Lord. Before there was a Johnson, Catholics said flesh and blood is in heaven. Oh yeah. That's why I have took the so-called apostolic churches and smashed you into hell. That's right. You identify as Catholics. That's why you got more than one God. Amen. If you are holy, holy. you will have the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's right. And your flesh Amen. won't cry out the flesh. That's right. Your flesh will cry out to God. That's right. Feel me. Hallelujah. Feel me. Somebody said, somebody said, well, wait a minute. If you're not praying the flesh, why you call on Jesus? Yes. Because the name of God is an everlasting name. That's right. It was here. That's right. Before the body was. That's right. Huh? That's right. It was already here. Already here. Do you understand? That's right. Already here. That's right. Don't you hear Jesus say? Oh. Jesus said, I come. In my father's name. He said, I come. In my father's name. And then he prayed to the spirit, thanking the spirit for those he gave him out of the world in his name. That's right. 17 chapter John, you gotta move quick. St. John chapter 17 and Go that verse right six. to the point. I manifested thy, thy wait name. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 17 and verse 6. John 17 and 6 says, I have manifested thy name. Son of God talking. Right. Son of God said, I have manifested thy name. No, I manifested my name. I have manifested thy name. No, my name. Thy name. You see, he got his name from thine. That's right. The name of Jesus was here before he was conceived. That's right. Give me Luke 221. Luke 221. And then right. we go back to John. Amen. Luke chapter 2 and that verse You fellas don't know Jesus? No. 
He that speaketh by the Spirit won't call Jesus a curse. That's right. Huh? That's right. Luke 2, 21. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, yes. his name was called Jesus. His name was called Jesus. Which was so named of the angel. When? Before. What? Before. What? Before. Before what? He was conceived in the womb. Before he got here. That's right. The name was here. Hallelujah. Now, let me teach you something. When the spirit put on that body, the body took on the titles and the name. And the name. That the spirit had. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's what huh? That's right. When he took on a body, the body took on name, title, power, function, That's right. ability, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the father that was in him. But the father always made that body teach showing the people that the body was lesser than lesser than that's right. for my father is greater than ah, that. glory to god amen yeah. amen he had my father you understand go ahead do you hear what he says there? St. John 14 and verse 28. The Spirit, my Father, is greater. My God. Go ahead, man. Is greater than I. Than the flesh. That's right. Hallelujah. Spirit, greater than flesh. That's right. Flesh is up there on the cross, hanging between heaven and earth. Yeah. After he died, mm -hmm. after he yelled the second time and gave up the ghost, Spirit, come out. Yeah. Come out. And then go to another world right. of the dead. Right. Preach to the spirits that was in prison. Yes, they pleaded for the body, yeah. took it down, yeah. washed it, yeah. laid it in sepulchre. Yeah. But the spirit was already busy. That's right. Still working. Body dead. Spirit still working. Oh yeah. You men say God died, you fool. That's a fool. Can't kill God. Can't kill God. The body that God was in, that body died. Why did the body die? To show the church, now you got to die. That's right. That's right. Show the church, you got to die. That's right. That's right. So we take God. My father is greater you, than I. You need a God sent preacher. Yes, you do. To talk about God. <laughs> That's right. You, you fellas are just fumbling around. Quoting scripture, quoting scripture, but can't analyze nothing. You're fumbling. You're fumbling. Fumbling. And then somebody come along thinking you deep. But when someone that got knowledge can see, uh uh, they should they so shallow. That's right. Do you hear? For my father is. Give, give chapter and verse 17, chapter the book of John. Now back in John 17 and verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. I have manifested he didn't thy come, name. He didn't come preaching the name of Joseph. Oh no. I manifest thy name. Thy name. He wanted, he come in his father's name. That's right. God made that body, then when he took that body on, the body inherit the name of the spirit that was in it. That's right. That's right. Tell him, I still don't see that Pastor Janice. All right. Mm. When you die, your spirit got the same name of your body. That's right. Where is that at in the Bible, Pastor Janice? Where is that at? The Bible says Enoch was translated that he should not see that yeah. but flesh and blood cannot inherit mm -hmm. but when that body was translated it still said enoch went in that's right but the flesh didn't go that's right but that spirit went in mm -hmm. and the spirit had the name of the body that it had that's right it was called enoch mm -hmm. moses and elijah appeared on the mountain and behold moses was buried by god yeah. and elijah was translated that's right they was dead hundreds of years oh, yeah. but when jesus was on the mountain yes. That's right. Transfiguration. Amen. The Bible said Moses appeared. That's right. And Elijah appeared. That's right. But wait a minute. Go ahead, man. I buried you. That's right. And I translated you. Go ahead. So you don't even exist. Go ahead. But yet Moses, Moses and Elijah, and Elijah appeared. In right. glory. Then they talked with him. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. They talked with him Hallelujah. about his resurrection. That's right. See it. If you make, they can't see it. If you make, make it see it. 
the first resurrection. He gonna be changed, changed. from mortal to immortality. To immortality. That's right. When I pull off the mortal, yeah. the immortality yeah. gonna have the name of my mortal. That's why we shall be known as, you know. as we are known. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm still gonna be known. Yeah, as you know. When God changed me, yeah. pull off the mortal. Yeah. No more human. Yeah. My divine will have the shape, yeah. form, yeah. fashion, yeah. title, yeah. look, and name yeah. of the human. Look just like I still would be able to say, yeah. Brother Ellis. Yeah. Yeah. But we won't be human. No. Right. We'll be yeah. divine. Yeah. divine. Yeah. divine. Be like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Be able to appear yeah. Yeah. and disappear. Yeah. Be where God is, yeah. but not equal to God. That's right. That's right. Bible said we shall be called right. the children of the, of the resurrection. For we shall be like the angels. That's right. Bible said, who maketh his angels what? Spirits. What? Spirits. He maketh his angels what? Spirits. Spirits. Hallelujah. That was the purpose of God manifested himself in flesh was to leave a trail yes. of a pattern of good works. You fool said, had a man write me and say he can prove that flesh is God, you fool. That's a fool. Nobody can do more work than God. But you know what Jesus told his apostles? Greater work Greater works than these, than these shall ye do. Yeah, you do. What you mean? You're going you go, you to do more work than I did. Yeah, I did. You're going to do more work than the flesh did. Yeah. That's right. I done baptized more people than Jesus did. Right. Oh, yeah. But I'm doing it by the same spirit that was in Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. We had baptized thousands. thousands. Jesus only baptized more disciples than John. Yeah. That's right. Jesus had a short ministry. That's right. Huh? That's right. His flesh had a short ministry. That's right. I've been preaching longer than Jesus. Oh, yeah. Great it works. Great it works. I've been preaching longer than Jesus. Great it works. I know they're going to upset somebody. I don't care. I've been preaching longer than Jesus. Jesus told his apostles. Greater works than these. Give chapter and verse. Now in St. John chapter 14 and verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto A you. A fool would say, that's blasphemy. You can call it what you want. What you will. Jesus plainly said. Verily, verily, I say unto truly, you. Truly, truly, I say to you. He that believeth on me. He that believe on me. The works that I do. The work that I do. Shall he do also. Shall, he said, I'm going to do also. And greater works And then he'll say, I do greater work, which means more work. That's right. I did more work than what he done. Amen. I baptized thousands. He ain't baptized thousands. But I'm doing it by Jesus. That's right. And through the name of Jesus. That's right. Right. I'm doing it by the power of Jesus. That's right. That same power that was the driving force Hallelujah. in him Hallelujah. is that same force that drives me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greater works. Greater, Hallelujah. Greater works. Greater works. Then these that scripture do. is being fulfilled in the truth of God right now. Greater works. Hallelujah. Right now. Amen. Greater works. Greater works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I know that burned the devils up, but it don't change the fact. No, no. Je Jesus didn't go to all the world. He had a short ministry. But he sent me to all the world. Huh? He, told, he sent men. He came here with a short ministry, teach men, and then give them permission to go to all the world. But before I send you out there, I got to teach you what to do, how to do it. And the way I do that, not only would I verbally teach you, just follow what I do. Look at what I do. Look at how I baptize. Look at how I preach. Look at how I'm always giving credit to the Spirit. That way when I die, you will never give credit to yourself. Go ahead. Left an example. Hmm? No credit to yourself. We give credit. It is the spirit that worketh. Spirit working the truth of God. 
There are some that's here that don't want to be here. Only reason why some is here because they made a vow there and another leave, and now they regret that. <laughs> they regret that. That's right. You know why? They friends got lies, and they love their friends more than they love the truth. Your friend is equal to this. That's your friend. That's your friend. An idolatry. Yeah. You see, our God, you can't see him, but you can feel him. You can feel him. You can see him if he let you. That's right. Now, that's another thing on the street now. Now went to the king, immortal. You blind, deaf, dumb preachers say you can't see a spirit. You fool. Oh, you can't? Give me the book of Job, and then give me the book of Kings, and then give me the book of Revelation. Come tell me you can't see a spirit. That's right. I'd make you lick it up. That's right. I had one brother call me and said, well, when the Bible said they saw God, they didn't see spirit. They saw the manifestation. You fool. What do you think manifestation mean? When a thing is manifest, it's either seen or heard. That's right. That's right. It's either seen or heard. That's right. Huh? That's right. You tell me you can't see a spirit? spirit. I'm going to give you a Bible where a man saw a spirit mm -hmm. and said it was a spirit said and saw the movement of the spirit. That's right. So I say, God, let's go to work, son. In the book of Job, chapter 4, we'll start at verse 12. Listen, I had somebody write me and said, I do not want to be the preacher that come on before the truth of God or after. <laughs> Amen. I wouldn't want to be it either. No. We come along and mop up every lie that ever come out of hell. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Listen, at, give Job, chapter and verse again. Job chapter 4 and we're at verse 2. Yes, I said. Ahead, you can see the spirit. Can see the spirit. God can give you an eye to see him. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Come on, son. Now a thing was secretly brought to me. Give chapter and verse again. Job chapter 4 and I'm at the 12th verse. And what did it say? Now a thing was what? secretly a thing. A thing. A thing. A thing. A thing. a thing. How did it come to me? Was secretly. Secretly. All right. All right. That means everybody didn't see it. Everybody. And everybody don't know it. That's right. Huh? That's right. See, everybody don't see it. Amen. And everybody don't know it. Right. Amen. Huh? Go ahead. What did it say? Now a thing was secretly yes. brought to me. A thing was secretly brought to me. And my ear received a little thereof. My ear received a little bit. And in, in thoughts from the vision of the night. In thoughts from the vision of the night. When deep sleep falleth on men. What happened? Fear came upon me. I became afraid. And trembling. And I began to tremble. Which made all my bones to my shake. My bones got a reaction about what I saw and thought. Then. Then. A spirit. If you couldn't see it, how can you tell me what it was? That's right. <laughs> What did he say? A spirit. And what did the spirit do? A spirit passed before my face. <laughs> he saw something. That's right. He saw it. A spirit. Anybody passed. say you can't see a spirit? Use a liar. That's a lie. Use a liar. Amen. That's a lie. Then a spirit. The Bible speaks. You see, one thing I thank God for the Bible, it contradicts the bell prophets. That's right. It contradicts them. That's right. Folks get to shaking and hollering. Don't put that in no mind. Believe what's written. That's right. That's right. What what did the prop now? Here's a man that saw the spirit. Saw the spirit. I'm gonna believe him. Mm -hmm. right. I ain't gonna pay you no mind. That's right. Anyone that say you can't see it, you late. Lee. Here's a man that saw it already. That's right. All right, listen at this. Then, then a spirit passed before my face. And the fool said, Well, that means manifestation. Bible, Bible just say a spirit. A spirit. The passed. manifestation of the spirit was the appearance of it. That's it. That's all. That's all. It was the appearance of it. That's right. Don't use a word you don't know how to use it. Yeah. It wasn't a spirit, it was manifestation. Fool, manifest me is either seen or heard or handled. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's all. That's all. Gabriel manifests himself to Mary, Mary. But it don't change the fact he making this angels what? Spirits. Spirit. Spirit. Amen. You preachers, you preachers, you preachers, sit down. Yeah. 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 Sit down. You sit down, they'll come on to the truth of God. <laughs> Get aboard the train. That's it. And load up with some God given gasoline. That's right. That's right. Anytime a man tell you you can't see the spirit, see that the man spirit. is of the devil and blind of the devil. Amen. Here's the Bible speak plain. Then a spirit. God can give you an eye to see him. That's, That's it. it. That's then right. a spirit. Passed before my face. Passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. Here's a man talk about the movement of it. Yeah. He said, when I saw it, the hairs of my flesh stood up. It 
It stood still. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. He identified it. Amen. First the spirit was moving. Yes. Then it stopped. Stood still. And when it stopped, what did I say? It stood still. It stood still. But I could not discern the form thereof. Now, somebody said right then that means it wasn't the spirit because he couldn't discern the form. No, it don't. No, it don't. You see, uh, spirit is a shape shifter. That's right. A spirit can come in many shapes. That's right. Many forms. Many forms. You better get that in the book of uh, Hosea, That's I believe. Right. That God used shapes yeah. and forms and, form. and similitudes. That's right. Glory to God. This is good given by revelation, you know. That's right. you, can, you can go ahead and put that down, brother. That's enough of the idols. I know your arms is tired. tired. Yes, I said the spirit can come in many forms and in many shapes and in many similitudes. And in Hosea chapter 12. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow. That's why I tell you folk, don't waste your time to listen to nothing over the air. That's right. Nothing. 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 Eh? nothing. Listen at this. Hosea chapter 12 and we're at the 10th verse. What is it? I have also spoken by the prophets. Oh glory. God is talking. God. I also spoken by the prophets. And I have multiplied visions. I multiplied, I, I gave a lot of visions. And I used similitudes. And I used similitudes. By the ministry. By the ministry. Of the prophets. He used similitudes. Similitudes. A whole lot of shapes, forms, fashions. Similitudes. Amen. Look at the way he describes himself. That's right. I'm the lily of the valley. I'm the true vine. I'm the bright and morning star. Yeah. I am a son, not a S O N or S U N. Similitudes. I'm the highest. Alpha and Omega, beginning, the end. First and the last. Bright morning star. Multiplied visions. Multiplied. He saw it. They seen him in all kind of ways. That's right. That's right. That's right. Prophet prayed that the famine would go away. He looked and saw a hand coming up as a piece of clock. Yeah. Who hand was that? God. Oh, Why was it a hand? Because God's hand rules the waters. Oh, yeah. huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Multiplied oh, vision. Hallelujah. Similitudes, Similitudes. forms, yes, fashions, images, Hallelujah. shapes. That's he it. came to Manoah and his wife. They said we saw an angel. Yes. Then they said it was a man. Yes. Then they said it was God. Yes. Similitudes. Similitudes. Amen. Amen. You men need the Holy Ghost to preach God. That's right. You need the Holy Ghost to preach God. That's right. That's it. I'm not talking about no giddy 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 giddy. I ain't talking about that. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the real Holy Ghost. That's right. Hallelujah. Make it plain, brother. Yeah. Make it plain, brother. What did Job say? Back in Job 4 and that verse. Any 15. man said you can't see a spirit, come mm -hmm. tell me that. Yeah. Come bring that here. Right. I'll make you lick it up and blast what you say right to hell. That's right. If you think I'm bluffing, try me. Try it, try it. I blast it to hell. You ain't got to wait for an invitation. We advertise where we are around the world. All you got to do is walk in the building with your Bible open. That's right. Just walk in with your Bible, I'll right. blast it to hell. That's right. Mm -hmm. Here's a man saw the spirit, mm -hmm. seen when it stopped. Then a spirit passed before my passed face. Passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. Then what? It stood still. It stood still. But I could not design the form thereof. It, it didn't have a particular form. That's why I couldn't make the shape out. An image. A image. Was before my eyes. It was an image. An image. But I just couldn't uh, discern what kind of image. That's right. What kind of shape. There, there was silence. It was quiet. And I heard a voice saying. Uh-oh. Silent, but a voice. <laughs> couldn't make out the form. Couldn't make out the shape. Mm -hmm. But then it started talking. I what heard talk? a voice. The spirit was talking. That's right. That spirit that stood there that I was looking at started talking. That's right. And what did it say to me? Shall mortal man be more just than God? You little mortal men mm. trying to talk about God. Yeah. You can read all the Bible you want. Yeah. If God don't give it to you, you are blasphemed the Holy Ghost. Yes, you will. Whenever a man said you can't see the spirit, he lied on the scriptures. He lied on the scriptures. What did he say? Shall mortal man be more just than God? Come on, my time is getting away. I didn't even plan on being here this long, but real quick. Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall what? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? What else? The holy put no trust in his servants. He what? He put no trust in his servants. All right, give me the book of Kings. Now the book of First Kings. I'm going to show you a man who was a prophet. Mm -hmm. yes. Look in heaven yeah. and witness a conversation taking place Yes. With spirits. Spirits. Spirits was having dialogue That's right. in heaven That's right. about a certain incident mm -hmm. on earth. Yeah. I want to educate you. First Kings chapter 22. You can shout by tomorrow. I want to educate you tonight. That's right. 
Give chapter and verse again. First Kings 22 and we're at verse 19. A whole lot of preachers preach for years. You can't see a spirit. Yeah. Oh, you can't? Hmm. The Bible said every eye shall see him. That's right. And the Bible told me God is a spirit. That's right. He gonna give you an eye to see him. That's right. Come on. First Kings I can 22. travel all down through the Bible. No man have seen God at any time. Oh no! Oh, no. All right, I just, come on, son. Stay where you at. I am. Come on, son. First Kings twenty-two and verse nineteen. I want to load you with so much Bible you can build a bonfire with it. <laughs> That's right. Come on. And he said, "Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord." Hear thou therefore the word of Geno Genesis. The word of the Lord. The word of Genesis. The word of the Lord. Know ye the Lord that hears who? God. So let's hear the word of God. I saw the Lord. I saw. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Amen. I saw. He start off telling you. That's right. <laughs> I saw the Lord. You think I'm going to believe someone who can't even look around the corner? Amen. Hey, you can't even look. How many can look beyond these walls? Beyond the Why you sitting in here? Raise your hand. Hmm. Come on, raise your hand. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to believe the one whom the Spirit was dealing with. That's right. Do you hear it? I saw the Lord. Someone said, well, I don't believe that. You see, our God can do anything. Anything. That's the type of God we have. That's right. It ain't nothing hard for him. No. It's nothing difficult for him. No. Nothing I have. That's right. Read the word of God, son. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. Sitting on his throne. Uh oh. I, not only did I saw him, I saw what he was doing. Sitting on his throne. And what else did I see? And all the hosts of heaven I standing by him. I dare you to tell me anybody was flesh up there. I blasted the hell. That's right. I smashed it right to the devil. That's right. He said, I saw all the all hosts the of heaven. All the hosts of heaven standing by him. They were standing by him. On his right hand. Look at it. He began to describe what was up there. They was on his right hand. And on his left. And on his left. And the Lord said. And the Lord had began and said something. Who shall persuade Ahab? He was talking to the spirits of heaven. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because Ahab was a lustful king, yeah. and he wanted to go up and take Ramoth Gilead, yeah. and uh, he wanted Jehoshaphat to be influenced. Right. So Ahab had uh, over 400 prophets, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, uh, "Shall I take Ramoth Gilead mm -hmm. and prosper, or shall I forbear?" All said with one voice, go up and prosper. That's, right. that stuff did not impress Jehoshaphat. Right. Yeah. See, Jehoshaphat yeah. walked with God. Yeah. And Jehoshaphat said, is there not here a prophet of the Lord? Yeah. Besides, yeah. besides what? All these devils you got telling you to go up. <laughs> Even Ahab had to admit, there's yet one man. one man. What is his name? His name is Micaiah. Yeah. He's the son of Embla. How you feel about him, Ahab? Well, I hate him. Why? Because he speak no good concerning me but evil. I hate him. He hate the man of God. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Read what he said. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab? Who shall go up and persuade Ahab? That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. And what did the spirits in heaven say? And one said on this manner. And? And another said on that manner. Then what? And there came forth a spirit. <laughs> now let us remember, Micaiah is looking at all this. Looking at this. He's looking at and describing it. That's right. And these fools said, you can't see his spirit. No, you can't see it. <laughs> That's right. That's the problem. That's the problem. God can give you an eye to see him. And there came forth a spirit. Well, if it wasn't a spirit, how can a man describe what it was? Amen. Huh? Amen. He was speaking under the inspiration of the Almighty. That's right. Yeah. And there came forth a spirit. There came forth a spirit. And stood before the Lord. And the spirit stood before God. And said, I will persuade him. I, I, I go persuade Ahab. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? Spirit talking to spirit. Yeah. Right. Spirit was talking to the father of spirits. That's right. Yeah. That's the right. Bible says, should we not rather be subject to the father of spirits and live? And live. God said, well, how are you going to do it? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit. Wait a minute. The spirit that talked to him, talked to God, didn't say he is a liar. No. I will be a lying spirit. He volunteered to be a lying spirit in the, and mouth, the mouth of all his prophets. That lets you know lying is a spirit. That's why some folk never stop. That's why you're so wishy washy. That's right. You got a chameleon spirit. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you go away from truth, you'll tell your friends, oh, yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Then you come around at you, well, yeah, that's right. That's a lying spirit. Yeah. But when you got the right spirit, you're solid. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You're solid. Yeah. 
I will be a lion I'll be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And what did the Lord say? And he said, Thou shalt persuade. The Lord him. said, You go ahead and be that. And prevail also, go forth and do so. And, and prevail and go forth and do so. Now therefore, now therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lion spirit. Look at Micaiah telling the king, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord put a lion spirit in, in the, the mouth. mouth of all these thy prophets. Listen. Here's the man saw the spirit before it got in the prophets. That's right. Go ahead, man. Right. saw the lying spirit. Yeah. It was a righteous spirit that volunteered to be a lying spirit. It came as a lying spirit, but the spirit itself was not a liar. That's right. Glory to God. Now, therefore. <laughs> Now therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit where? in the mouth of all these thy prophets. You men that says flesh and blood is in heaven, and there's two and three gods, mm -hmm. and Mary babies in heaven, <laughs> and there's a trinity in heaven, and God is white and God is black. There's a lying spirit in you. Lying spirit you need in to the have mouth. that spirit cast out of you. That's right. And, and that's why being that the devil, that lying spirit, when it's a spirit, it travels. Yeah. That's why people is manipulated by it yeah. because they are fellowshipping with the spirit. And that's why you start to say amen to what you used to be against. That's right. Because you're caught a spirit. That's right. You picked up a spirit. Picked up a spirit. Amen. Now, give me a revelation and let me close. Revelation chapter 4 and we'll start at verse 1. Oh, glory to God. Give chapter verse again. Revelation chapter 4 and we're at the first verse. What is it? After this I look. After this I look. And behold, a door was open in heaven. Hold it. You see, if you don't have the spirit, you take these things literally. Right. A door was opened in heaven, which means that Jesus manifest himself. That's right. Which you mean Jesus showed revelation. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because he said, I am the door. All right. Now let's look at that. The purpose of a door is to open and enter in and to open and something come out. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So when he said a door was opened, you know when your understanding come open? That's like a door opening. That's right. Huh? That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? When your understanding come open, that's the door of your mind opening. That's right. Huh? That's right. So when something was revealed to the apostle, mm -hmm. that's right. somebody said revealed? Yes. yes. What you think revelation means? Revelation. The word revelation means that which is revealed. That's right. Hmm? That's what it means. That's what it means. It is the book that exposes mystery. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The book that make no mystery. That's right. It is the mystery of the book, and a man cannot define the mystery of the book unless he's capable to break the seal. And to break the seal, you got to have the seal breaker in you. That's right. The seal breaker is God. When a letter is sealed, you get a sharp, what is called letter opener. Yeah. Break the seal. Yeah. Take revelation to break the seal of the book. Without revelation, you just stuck with quoting scripture, quoting scripture, quoting scripture, but you can't analyze the quotation. Quotation without proper interpretation brings you into damnation. Amen. All right, let's get the situation. After this, I look. And behold, a door was open in heaven. A door was open in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. Now hold it. First you will take that literally. Yeah. And first you will voice. think that a horn is blowing up there. Yeah. But it, the voice as a trumpet. was described using the adjective. Yeah. 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 What was it? As of a trumpet talking with me. That let you know how loud the pitch was. Mm. It was a loud pitch, loud enough to get your attention. That's right. Huh? That's right. The trump of God. Trumpet. Voice of God. Mm -hmm. Sound of God. Yeah. The quickening of God. Yes. Come on. Which said, come up hither. Come up here. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Right then, that lets you know in order to get the things of God, yeah. you got to get close to him. Come up. Come up. You got to come up. Come up. You got to be elevated. You got to be elevated in the spirit. That's right. Come up hither. Come up hither. Get closer. Amen. Get closer to him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amen. Get closer. Come up hither. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Come up hither. And I will show thee things which must Glory be hereafter. Glory to God. And when you come up hither, when he bring you up, when he bring you up, Amen. he said, I'll show you. Show thee things I which must be I can't show you the way you are. No. Now, you can't see it. 
That's why all things are done in parables. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All things are done in parables. That's right. And you got brothers walking around trying to break down a Godhead. Be quiet and be taught. That's it. That's right. It's a mystery. That's it, brother. He told the apostles plainly, it's given unto you yes. to know it. To know it. But he said unto them that are without, all things are done how? In parables. Parables are fleshy examples. Yeah. That's why they try to explain God according to the flesh. That's right. Because they stuck with parable knowledge. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Come up hither. Come up hither. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. I will show thee things that must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit. That's what's missing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right away. I was in the spirit. Isn't that wonderful? Immediately. I don't care how fast a man talk. I don't care how much scripture he quote. That don't mean you in the spirit. No. Immediately. I was in the spirit. I was in the spirit. And behold. And behold. A throne was set in heaven. He, that's why the prophets and the apostles was able to tell you what's up there. That's right. They was able to see what's up there. That's right. A throne was set in heaven. A throne was set in heaven. And one. And three. One. One. All right, here you ain't in no spirit. You see three. Yeah. Here's a man in the spirit. He only see one. One. So whatever you in, will you please come out of it? That's right. Whatever you in, come out of it. Come out of that. You know, because your vision is blurred. You're seeing too many of them. That's right. You know, if you come out of what you're in, you would see one, one. along with the apostles. And immediately I was in the spirit. Right away, the moment he came up hither, mm. and God showed him something. How, how did God wanted to make it known? Immediately I was in the spirit. Then what? And behold, a throne was set in heaven. And what? How many was up there? And one sat on the throne. And what was it? And he that sat. He. 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 Amen. He. One. He. He that sat. Brother, when a spirit got a hold of you, you can't see no clearer than that. That's right. No clearer. He that sat. He that sat was to look upon like a jasper. Yeah, I mean, listen. Mm. He, he looked like a precious stone. That's right. A jasper is a stone. Amen. He. He that sat. That sat. Was to look upon I, like a when jasper. When I look upon him, he was like a jasper. Man, he was so bright. That's right. Shiny, glistening. Mm. As a jasper. And a sardine stone. And a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne. There was a rainbow round about the throne, which let you know that he remembered what he'd done in the past. That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. That's it. There was a rainbow over the throne. Round about the throne. The rainbow represents covenant. Yeah. Let you know he's a God of promise. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's a God of promise. Hallelujah. A rainbow ran about the throne. In sight like unto an emblem. In sight like unto an emblem. That means it had multicolors. That's right. And, and round about the and throne. And round about the throne. Were four and twenty seats. I saw four and twenty seats. And upon the seats. What did he see? I saw four and twenty elders. How did they look? Clothed in white raiment. Don't tell me them elders was flesh and blood. That's right. That's Don't right. you know there ain't no flesh and blood in heaven? No, no. There were twenty-four elders mm -hmm. sitting on the throne. That's right. All clothed in white raiment. And 12, they, 12, 12 plus 12 is what? 24. He had 12 tribes of Israel. When he was here, he had 12 apostles. So the 12 that was around the 24 that's around the throne represent the Old Testament church and the New Testament church. They all was arrayed in white robes because the same spirit that dealt with the prophets, they were the same spirit that dealt with the apostles. So they all had crowns upon their head. Let you know that the spirit of the prophets and the apostles, they had the same spirit and anointed and used by the same God. That's right. Yeah. What did he say? And out of the throne. Out of the throne. Proceeded lightning. Oh, amen. Lightning. And thunderings. Thundering. And voices. Voices. And there were seven lamps of fire. Seven lamps of fire. Burning before the throne. Wait a minute. I saw seven lamps of fire. Mm -hmm. It was burning before the throne. Which are the seven spirits of God. The seven spirits of God are the seven angels of God. That's right. And one of those angels' name was Azariah, Azariah. whom Tobias was talking to. That's right. Azariah, when, when he talked to Tobias, he said, have you noticed? He revealed his real name. He said, my name is Raphael. That's right. I'm a vision. vision. He said, the whole time I was with you, did you not know I never eat and I never drank? He said, I am. One of the seven. One of the seven. He said, I'm a vision. That's right. I stand before God That's right. and I take the prayers of the saints Hallelujah. and bring it before God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me the book of Tibet. Hallelujah. I thought you should have been here. Give me the book of Tibet. I want to balance this out. 
the book of Tibet, and then we go back to the book of Revelation. Here's an angel revealed himself, revealed his position, and made known his job. Now in the book of Tibet, chapter 12. Read fast. And we're at verse 13. Go right to the point. At verse 14. All right. At verse 15. All right. I am Raphael. I'm Raphael. One of the seven. Oh, wait a minute. I'm what? I'm Raphael. I'm what? One of the, one of the seven. I'm what? One of the seven. I'm what? One of the seven. What is my job? Holy angels which present the prayers of the saints. And, and which go in and in and out. I got access. That's right. I go in and out before the glory. And then out of what? Before the glory of the Holy One. Dre, give this brother some more juice. My God, I want you back there to have some ears so I don't have to keep stopping. Amen. What did he say there? I, I am Raphael. I am Raphael. One of the seven holy one angels. One of the seven holy angels. Which present the prayers of no, the No, one of the seven fleshy angels. One, one of the seven holy angels. Fleshy angels. Holy angels. Preach it. Hmm? Preach it. He, he created his angels holy. Holy. And not one of them in heaven is flesh. That's right. Not one. Not one. Not even them that was cast out. Yeah. That's right. They are in prison. That's right. Spirits in prison, mm -hmm. in chains of darkness. That's right. What did the Bible say there? I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints, and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. What, but wait a minute, even back there, it was how many holy? Before the Holy One. No, the Holy Three. Holy One. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, God in three persons. Holy One. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, God in three persons, blessed liety. Holy one. <laughs> Trinity, that's a liony. That's right. That's what that is. That's what that is. He only saw the holy one. Holy one. He said he's one of the seven. One of the seven. One of the seven. I had a man write me and say, I don't believe in the book of Joshua because Joseph was talking to his dead mother. And when anybody talked to the dead, that's witchcraft. Mm. That's a lie out of hell. That's a lie. Tell me, was Jesus working witchcraft when he talked to Lazarus? That's right. Tell me, was Jesus working witchcraft when he was talking to Lazarus? And when he had thus spoken, he cried with Our God voice. can do anything. Yeah. Anything. That's right. You fool. That's a fool. They that's said Joseph was talking to his dead mother. That's witchcraft. God don't do that. How blind you are. How blind you are. Jesus went down to the grave and preached to the dead. That's right. That was in prison. In prison. That's right. He told Ezekiel, yeah. prophesy yeah. to these bones. Yeah. Didn't they say so? That's right. These men are not sent. No. They're not sent. No, no. And as a result of reading the book of Joshua, how Joseph talked to the dead, mm -hmm. they blasphemed and said the book of Joshua is wrong. They wow. blasphemed against the Holy Ghost and on their way to hell. I can show you so much scripture where God moved on men to talk to the dead. That's right. Many, 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 many of them. Even the apostles talked to the dead. That's right. Samuel. Samuel. Yes. Samuel. Samuel appeared. Yes. Talk to Saul. Why have to you inquired of me? Seeing that the Lord hath departed from thee. Why are you bringing me up? There's so much Bible here. So much. Are you listening? That's right. Lazarus! What are you doing? Talking to the dead. Come forth. There's so much Bible. The hand of the Lord was upon me. Do you hear this? Now in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and at verse 1. The hand of the, the, you see, when God get a hold of a man, God can make that man do anything. That's right. And Joseph is the wrong man for you to talk about. <laughs> That's right. Don't you know the Bible says in the book of Genesis that Joseph was in God's stead? That's right. Amen. Don't talk about Joseph. Talk the about Bible plainly says Joseph was in God's stead. Yeah. And remember, his brothers already rejected him. Yeah. You better shut your mouth. Do you know you can talk about a man of God that been fed thousands of years? But if you speak against one word God came out of his mouth, you are go to hell. That's right. 
God said, my word shall not return unto me void. That's right. But it shall accomplish. That's right. Why would I be so blind and condemn a man? Because the ability of God is too far advanced for me to comprehend. Yeah. Oh, he talk you to dead. That's witchcraft, you fool. That's a fool. Huh? That's a fool. 37 chapter book of Ezekiel. Come on, son, because I got to get out of here. The hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. And carried me out in the spirit he, of the Lord. Wait a minute. He carried me out what? He carried me out in the spirit of the That's Lord. That's what you need. Spirit of the Lord. Spirit of the Lord. Be fast. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Here, not only he was among the dead, mm -hmm. he was among folk that been dead long time. Long time. There wasn't even no flesh on their bones. That's right. It was a valley. That's right. Whole lot of dead. Again he said unto me. And then God began to talk to Ezekiel. Prophesy upon these bones. Wait a minute. Prophesy. 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 Upon these bones. Wait a minute. Why do you want me to talk to the dead? Mm. Because what I give you is word of life. Yeah. And in order for the dead to live, mm -hmm. they need a sound. Yeah. And the sound that they need is the word or the power of the resurrection. That's right. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon That's what I'm sent to the dead. Yeah. You see, Joseph talking to his mother have a broad meaning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. It's too deep for that kind of mind. Joseph talking to his dead mama got a broad meaning. That's right. That's right. Mother represent where life come from. Go ahead. And God called the earth mother. mother. So God sends the preacher to preach to the mother earth. Why? Because the earth came forth life and then life go back to the earth. So when he talked to his mother, that represented the message coming to the earth. That's, that's, that's too deep for men. Eh? Amen. I'm talking to my I'm talking to my mother right now. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Talking to my mother. Yes. That's right. Glory to God. There's a lot of earth out there. Earth. Come on, son. Prophesy upon these Prophesy bones. Prophesy upon these bones. And say unto them. Say unto them. Oh ye dry bones. Oh ye now dry, dry. me. They was dead a long time. That's right. Dry me long time in a condition. Yes. Not only are your bones don't have no flesh, dry. but you're dry. Very dry. Very dry. Very dry. So you're in a stage, you're in a condition. Yeah. Away from God a long time, and the further you get away from God, the more disconnected and dry you shall become. That's right. And you will start seeing it in yourself because it'll start off in unbelief. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly and surely, unbelief start to form in you. He started saying, I don't believe that in the Bible no more. I don't believe that in the Bible no more. I don't believe that in the Bible no more. I don't believe that in the Bible no more. As if that moved God. Because God says this. Well, what is something I believe? Should the unbelief make the faith of God an unaffect? God forbid. Let God be true. Let every man be a lie. It don't move God because you don't believe him. No. The Jehovah's Witness don't believe it's no hell. Does that stop hell from coming? <laughs> you that's full of unbelief. If you don't believe, I'll tell you what you do. You go out on 95, get out your car, and stand in front of a Mack truck, and just say, I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. You'll get educated right away. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Come tell me Joseph talked to his mother was witchcraft. You got to have revelation about the scripture. That's blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost. Nothing is too hard for God. No. Hmm? Prophesy upon these bones. Here the spirit of a dead man came and talked to Jesus. Yeah. Moses on the mountain of transfiguration. Mm -hmm. That wasn't witchcraft. That, wasn't witchcraft. that was the power of God. That's right. Come on. Again he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. What? And say unto them, O ye dry bones. Oh ye dry. Wait a minute. Talk to the bones. Say unto them. Is this witchcraft? Mm -hmm. Talk to the bones. And say unto them, say to them, O ye dry bones, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Well, Pastor Jenny, why, why would any man talk to the dead if the Bible said the dead know of nothing? Because there's something about the dead that still hears. That's right. That's right. What is it? The spirit that was, the spirit in, it. That was in it. 
Huh? That's right. Spirit that was in it still got an ear. Mm -hmm. Why? Because God is the father of spirits. Yes. When you die, God going to call your spirit to unite with your body. Yes, it will. So your body and the spirit can come up. Yes. Then when your body and the spirit come up, he changes your body into all spirit. That's right. So you can be like him. That's right. You got to earn the first resurrection, buddy. Amen. And you will never earn it. Blaspheme in the book. No, you won't. Read fast. And then he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of you know, the Lord. You know one thing I love about this truth? It make preachers scramble. To, to yeah, clean. They, right. they got to clean scramble. up their stuff now. Right. They got to clean up them lies. They got to scramble around scramble and try to clean it up. Like roaches when the light come on. Right. When you turn the light on, the roach be like, oh! Don't just run it. Sometimes they make you jump over. Come on, son. And then he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, Read fast. O you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. What is it? Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Wait a minute, talk to the bones. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. A man can't talk to nothing like that unless the spirit of God deal with them. That's right. Joseph was a prophet. Amen. That's a right. God sent prophet. Who was able to interpret dreams Amen. and dissolve doubts. Amen. Ain't gonna say he worked witchcraft. That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. You see, people will follow anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. What? Be behold, I will cause. What? <laughs> behold. All right, brother Bones, bring it up. Behold. Look. I will cause breath. To enter into you. Look at it. And you shall live. You shall do what? You shall live. Now that you know the word of God gives you life. Yeah. The moment he said prophesy, and I will cause breath come into you, all of that is symbolic. Because it takes speech to have breath. In other words, it takes the word of God to give you the spirit of life. That's right. Holy Ghost come through and by the word. That's right. But it takes the right message to give the dead, the sinner, life. Wonderful. Are you listening? Amen. Come on, be fast. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Then what? And I will lay sinews upon you. And that God gonna dress you up now. And will bring up flesh upon you. That let you know restoration gonna take place. And mm -hmm. restoration. Yeah. Now I'm gonna start dressing you up. Dressing sinews you. gonna come. And flesh. Flesh upon gonna you. come. And cover you with skin. I'm gonna cover you with skin. And put breath in you. Now I'm gonna restore you. And ye shall live. That lets you know it takes the word of God to resurrect you from your dead condition, and then restoration take place. Now you can stand up. That's it. That's what that is. That's right. When you're a sinner and you're away from God, long time, you get drier and drier. More unbelief begin to set in your mind. Things that you know was right, you start calling it wrong, 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 wrong. And the longer you stay out, the drier you become. That's right. So God sent me to you. That's it. Prophesy. You dry bones. Prophesy. Tell me to prophesy. Prophesy upon these bones. Now you can start seeing sin news. That's right. What you mean? Now no, no, them bones start moving. start moving. It takes the spirit of God to cause you to move. Yeah. And God start dressing you up. And now that which you had doubt about, your faith now start to come back. That's right. The God that you turn against, yeah. now you turn back toward. Amen. And God now say, come unto me. Come unto me. Oh, ye that labor. Yeah. And are heavy laden. Yes. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you mm -hmm. and learn of me. Don't you want to learn? Yeah. Repent of your sins. Repent. Be baptized in the water. In the name of Jesus Christ, who? Everything that's here that don't have it. Anybody want to be baptized tonight and obey God? In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Come on. Stand on your feet. Come on. Anybody else? Come on. You might as well get on board the Truth of God train. One get off, 100 get on. Two get off, 200 get on. Four get off, 500 get on. Isn't that wonderful? wonderful.
All right, come on, Brother Jones. Get them ready for baptism. Where's the brother? You see that brother standing over there? Go over there with him. Get yourself ready to go down the water. Come on, brother. Listen. Do you know, do you know a year is not gone? We are in the seventh month. And do you know in seven months time, 726 souls went down in water? <laughs> We're only in the seventh month. 726 souls went down in water. And it's only July. Only July. You better tell me this is not of God. How much more convincing do you need? I was in England two weeks ago. Man came from way up Great Britain. He said, I watch you every day. He said, I have never seen nowhere on television, on YouTube, where people are being baptized the way it's happening in the truth of God. He said, if anybody can see it, Mr. Hannah, he said, I can see it, and I'm way over here in Europe. <laughs> The devil wants people to believe that God is not in it. Yeah. But it's just too strong. Oh, yeah. It's just too sweet. Too sweet. Yeah. Huh? Amen. It's the Lord's doing. Yes, sir. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. 726 souls. Them two brothers made the 26. Wow. 726 souls yes, in seven months' time. It's unheard of. Yes. I saw almost a thousand people. Yes. And seven months. Yes. You men have been baptized seven people in ten years. Leave the truth of God alone. Yes. You might as well leave it alone. Yes. Souls are being baptized by the hundreds and receiving the Holy Ghost. Yes. And preachers are coming in. Churches are coming in. Why? These are the last days and people see holiness is the message for the last days. That's right. It's the message. Get on board. Yeah. All aboard. The train is moving. If you get off, it ain't going to stop. Thank God, I remember some months ago, let me say this and I'll let you get out of here. Some months ago, God gave me a dream. And uh, I was on top of the train, right on top of where the conductor was. And the train was moving. And I was right on top of the car. And while that train was moving, men, I couldn't count them was coming up out of everywhere, fighting me, trying to get me off that train. One thing particular that I noticed, my body was fighting, but my feet was like a magnet. It wouldn't move. It just wouldn't move. Oh, thank God. It wouldn't move. My God, I remember some of them members getting so frustrated, some started to yell, he won't move. He won't move. I, I was bleeding, I was cut, but I was fighting. I was fighting. Let the world.